When you arrive in Geelong, you will see such counters in every nook and corner of the city. This takes most tourists by surprise. Is this lottery? Is this gambling? What are those numbers that you can see? Welcome to New India Junction. I am Richa bringing you the story of Peer, where a combination of dreams and archery can bring you fortune. Teer, as we know it, means arrow fired from a bow. And when it becomes a game of chance, people from all over the state cannot hold themselves back from trying their luck. Here, dreams are converted into numbers. And if you're lucky, your number and the arrow shot could match. But how does this work? To find our answers, we spoke to a teer counter owner. तो उसको कोई कितना आदमी वो जब सिक्स सेवन सेवन सिक्स हो गया उसका उल्टा सीधा डिजिट नंबर बच्चा देख लिया सपना में तो बच्चा छोटा बच्चा थ्री पकड़ लग गया जैसे थ्री हो गया जीरो थ्री थ्री जीरो हो गया और कोई कोई गाय भी देखता है गाड़ी भी देखता है तो मान लीजिए चार चक्का गाड़ी है तो फोर पकड़ लिया उसको आदमी देख लिया तो सिक्स फोर फोर सिक्स और लेडीज देख लिया तो फाइव फोर फोर फाइव सपना मतलब वो और बाइक जैसे देख लिया आदमी चलाता है तो सिक्स टू टू सिक्स लेडीज चलाता है तो फाइव टू टू फाइव इसका गेम होता है पोलो गेम पोलो में होता है इन मेघालय आर्चरी हैज बिन प्रैक्टिस फॉर सेंचुरीज ट्रेडिशनली द खासी इज बिलीव टू हैव रिसीव्ड आर्चरी फ्रॉम द गॉड्स एज अ गिफ्ट ड्यूरिंग द ब्रिटिश रूल a considerable section of indigenous tribes primarily consisting of khasis jaintias and garos were converted to christianity by the missionaries the church forbids any form of gambling and that adds to the stigma yet for locals it is a way of staying close to their roots there was a time when the government had banned it but in 1982 the state government decided to make some tax revenue With time, the government began issuing licenses to thief counters, allowing people to place their bets while archers display their skills. There are several thousand thief counters in Meghalaya, some placing their bets on the game in Shillong, while the others at clubs in other cities. The game of thief is also a source of livelihood, with about two lakh people involved directly or indirectly. with this sport that takes place on most leisurely afternoons young and old shooters from varied age groups participate in this ancient game of bows and arrows as come the sniper when sniper step the one in the in there that is it i shall like them good We are walking into the Khasi Hills Archery Sports Institute. This is the place where the game will be held. Around 30 archers have assembled to play two rounds of the game that will bring fortune to many. The number is otherwise larger, but due to COVID-19 restrictions, onlookers are not allowed yet. Four minutes are over. People are anxious, hoping to have won today. This is my shop. Have you any? Please show me your license. Oh, please get lost. One rupee is eighty rupees. Okay. Ten rupees will get eight rupees. Ten thousand will get eight thousand rupees. The second round is over, and the arrows are being counted. No, the hafta me three days lag jata. Hafta me three days lag jata. So, how many pesos will get? Lag bag. Two thousand five hundred rupees. As the day comes to an end, the tears are being packed and the archers are ready to head home. Another group will be here tomorrow with the bows and arrows, hitting the target that will bring happiness to some while disappointment to the others. That was all from us today. Do let us know in the comments below what you think of this story. Until next time, keep watching the space for more such interesting content. Goodbye.